Greg, before we get into the new products, I have to ask you about the upcoming FTC game, Skystone. What are you most excited about with next year's game? And feel free to include any spoilers. So no spoilers for me, uh, but you know, I'm always excited about a new challenge because it's kind of a whole new year of opportunity. Um, students seeing the game, breaking down the game, that creative process, it's, it's the most fun time of the year. It's when the whiteboard is completely blank. Uh, you can go anywhere. Every single team has just as likely to end up winning a world championship. Um, so it's kind of like hopes, dreams, aspirations are at their peak, and that makes it a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. All right, Greg, thanks for that great answer. So before we jump into discussing the products, I was hoping you would be able to quickly tell our viewers about the history of Rev, you know, basic things such as how and where it started and how Rev became such a large part of the FTC community today. Sure, yeah, I'm happy to do so. Uh, so Rev uh, is uh, just turning five. So actually our birthday wow. is, this, is, is, is this month, which is kind hey. of uh, amazing to believe. Like I wish there was like confetti or something, but like um, <laughs> it, it, so we're, we're turning five and uh, the, the story is actually really simple. This will be my 19th year involved in FIRST. Uh, I'm a FIRST alumni. Um, I've been a mentor. I've been a, a volunteer. I've, I've served. Mm -hmm. If you could think of a role inside of FIRST, um, I've probably done it short of actually working for FIRST headquarters. Um, <laughs> but it's, you know, first has always been kind of a passion for me. And um, mm -hmm. several years ago, I guess maybe six years ago, um, I had the opportunity. I was working for uh, Southern Methodist University, um, working um, as a director of their innovation center um, for their engineering school. And I started to kind of do research about like why I loved robotics and why students seemed to resonate with what they got out of robotics. And mm -hmm. it had always been fun, right? Obviously, first is fun, yeah. uh, but it's it's like, why, how do we do this? And so mm -hmm. I started to ask that question, um, why is this not in every school, right? If you had go back 15 years ago, STEM, robotics, things like Arduino, Raspberry Pi, like those are not common words, but five right. years ago, six years ago, they actually are. So um, breaking down the why, it was the cost of the program and materials, the, um, you know, the teacher training, professional development, and then just like the political environment surrounding schools. And so um, as a product designer, as a product engineer, you know, things like looking at products, trying to do stuff that maybe lowers the barrier to entry, um, those were really things we could help to kind of drive it. So um, my partner and I, David Yanishak, we uh, kind of got together and we were like, hey, you know, let's start out with some really basic products. Um, we did for the uh, 2015 FRC game. Um, those were really well received and we just kept kind of working towards every year some slightly new projects. Um, we were involved very early on with the idea of FIRST Global, which was trying mm -hmm. to take FIRST and its programs to the global scale. Um, um, FLL used to be the largest, most distributed program at 77 countries and FIRST Global will have um, over 185 countries this year when we compete in Dubai, uh, when they compete in Dubai. And uh, so part of that is very much, um, part of that is very much based on cost of products, accessibility, logistics. And so we've kind of built Rev around trying to solve those problems. How we mm -hmm. became so core into FTC, I think part mm -hmm. of that is just um, our mission is to try to enable access to programs. And when you create products that are reasonably priced, uh, accomplish the goal, built to robust, and coming from the point of view of being a team person, because mm -hmm. both David and I have been team people for years, and almost everybody who works at Rev is either a first alumni or mentored first teams, that kind of gives us, we understand what teams are going to need and want, and we understand how to, how to make stuff that's cost effective. Um, so that's kind of where Rev is. It's believe me, I have to take a step back every now and then and think about how we got <laughs> here. But it's it's been a fun journey, and we're we're happy, and honestly, we're excited for what's to come. There's still plenty and plenty more to come beyond even what I'm showing you tonight. That's awesome, uh, Greg. I wanted to follow up about First Global Global and like what has Rev been contributing this year, and like what's their involvement like for this yeah. upcoming. So with First Global, um, Rev is the technology partner for First Global. And so what that means okay. is we're the First Global is a closed kit. 
Um, mm -hmm. And so the only parts they can use are rev parts. And the reason for that is actually um, to try to make the competition as equal and level playing field as you can. So Interesting. A, a team in Northern Virginia or, you know, Team USA can get a part from us tomorrow, but a team mm -hmm. in Botswana or in other places of the world, it's a lot harder right. to get a replacement. And so by saying, this is the, this is the bucket of parts, this is all you can use, um, mm -hmm. it really means that the only thing separating the best team in the world from, you know, the last place of the competition is kind of what's in here. And so right. that's a very empowering thing for students who um, maybe look at, you know, coming from uh, more developing countries and they're looking aspirationally at the developed world and they're like, oh, I could never be like this other country or this other thing, mm -hmm. you know, but they're sitting there, they're playing with those, those same students. They're, they're just as likely to, to beat Team USA or, or to beat, you know, any, you know, the UK or to Canada or, right. or any of these right. bigger countries. I mean, we are dealing with countries that might have a population less than 50,000. So, okay. Oh, yeah. So it's, yeah. so what we do is we develop uh, the kit. We uh, we're intimately involved with designing the game and then we produce kind of the technical element of the, of the event itself. So I've got a crew of, I think there's 13 of us that are traveling uh, to Dubai in, uh, in October. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So that's, that's, that is really, really cool. And thanks for all that information. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.